Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being, to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 32 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you on the bright side. We welcome your calls. 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010 is our official phone number on the Brightside radio program, 844-236-6010. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010, likewise is your number. If you want to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Brightside, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also uh, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They're friendly and knowledgeable. They know all about the Longevity products, and they can help you. 866-735-2470. Make sure to ask about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a Longevity business. You can be in business for yourself. Earn thank you checks for helping change the world, really. Change the world one health unit at a, at a time, one biological system at a time. And that's what Young Jeffy is all about, changing lives at the most fundamental level there is, which is the level of good health. If you're interested, call 866-735-2470. If you want to start a business of your own, 866-735-2470. If you want to work out of the home, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business. Or if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price, call 866-735-2470. Or sign up right up our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Also want to remind you to please check out our truth treatment products. Got some new products up. Our retinol 1% gel is up, as well as uh, our uh, Truth Omega-6 healing cream, Truth Transdermal C serum, Truth Transdermal C balm, and our Truth Biomimetic Mineral Mist. Check them out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, so we are talking about Detoxification, you hear that word a lot in the alternative health field. A lot of nutritionists and dieticians and chiropractors and acupuncturists, even doctors are getting in on the act of detoxification. But we don't really, nobody ever tells us what detoxification really is. I think, personally, in my opinion, detoxification is one of, if not the most amazing biochemical system, advanced biochemically high-tech system in the body. So just an amazing, amazing way the body purifies itself. Keeping in mind the chemistry is all about shapes and tinker toys. It's not complicated. It's just shapes and tinker toys. That's all you got to do to understand chemistry is how the, well, how the body changes all, uh, all of these tinker toys around and, and makes new shapes. That's kind of complex. But, but the idea of chemistry, the shapes and tinker toys idea of chemistry is not complex. And the detoxification system is just a, is just a, uh, involves the same thing, all chemistry that involve, that's involved in all chemistry. And that is shapes and tinker. 
tinker toys. The detoxification system is just the body making different tinker toys in different shapes. So a toxin has a shape, a tinker toy like a sh like shape, and the detoxification system rearranges the tinker toys. Basically, rearranges the it changes the shape. Sometimes it deconstructs the shapes. It takes them apart. Sometimes it attaches pieces onto the shapes to create a completely new shape that's not toxic. Detox is just this misunderstood, really not understood, non-understood biological processes that occurs in the body. Yet it's one of the most important and really from a conceptual idea standpoint, it's, it's just totally mind-blowing. The fact that we have a detoxification system at all is amazing. What other system, except for the biological system, the cellular system, the organism system, has its own built-in detox system? What other machinery? Car doesn't have a built-in detox system. It just spews out the toxins. No other machine can do this. This is just the, the quintessential uh, example of how the body is this magical, living, intelligent, responsive to the environment system. And it, it's exemplified in detoxification. The body can be thought of in many ways as a mechanical system, pumps, electrical generators, pulleys, levers, etc. But the fact that it can purify itself, that it can clean itself out, that it can detoxify itself, that it can take what is poisonous and biochemically transform it, rendering it non-poisonous, is just totally mind-blowing to me. Now, we hear about the detoxification system as being in the liver, largely in the liver. As blood flows through the liver, special cells react with various poisonous materials. There are certain cells that function as a first line of defense, and then there's other cells that function as a second line of defense. You have two lines of defense in this amazing biochemical detoxification system. They're called phase one and phase two detoxification. Phase one is like a general detox, it's a prep. It prepares the uh, uh, poisons for their final elimination in phase two. Phase one's more general. Phase one detoxification is basically burning and dissolving. Scientists call it oxidation and hydrolysis, but it's basically just burning and dissolving. And really what it means is the body uses oxygen and it uses water to deconstruct, to, to uh, break down the offending molecule. It either dissolves it or it burns it. From a quantum perspective, that's called oxidation and hydrolysis. Forget, we don't have to get into all the, we don't have to get in the weeds here. We don't have to get into all the minutiae. It's basically just burning and uh, dissolving. One of the major players in this phase one burning and dissolving system is a group of chemicals, a group of enzymes that are called cytochrome P450. Cytochrome is just a fancy way of saying uh, colored cell. Cyto means cell, chrome means color. It's a colored cell. It has a little, when they look at it under a microscope or under an electron microscope, it, it, it emits red. That's because there's a little piece of iron in there. So I call it cytochrome P450. We're, just gonna, we're not gonna, we're gonna dispense with the term cytochrome. It's called P450. P450 is this group of chemicals, and uh, you can think of them as the main players in phase one detoxification. Phase one detoxification is a prep. It prepares poisons, drugs, prescription drugs, illegal drugs, caffeine, plant chemicals can be prepared by this cytochrome P450 system, by the, uh, by the P450 system in phase one. Cigarette smoke, alcohol, all of these are prepped by P450, by the, by the phase one P450 system. And gets the, this prep gets these molecules, the alcohol and the drugs and the, and the cigarette smoke and the plant chemicals. And yes, plant chemicals have to be detoxified. And that's a very important thing for vegetarians to recognize. There's many plant chemicals that need to be detoxified. Plants are not innocent, benign creatures. They create toxins and poisons, and they're at least partially broken down, at least in the first stage, by phase one detoxification. All of this prepares the cell, uh, prepares the poison for its final detoxification in phase two. So phase one, and this is really important. This is not just, uh, I'm not just talking to you just to get some, to talk about biochemistry. This plays a really important role in how, how healthy we are or how not healthy we are, we are, especially when it comes to cancer, especially when it comes to breast cancer, reproductive cancers, prostate cancers, especially when it comes to the most deadly and the most common cancers that we have, intestinal cancers uh, and reproductive cancers and prostate cancers. All of these cancer-causing compounds are the end result of things that go wrong in phase one and phase two. So it's really important to understand what we're talking about when we talk about detoxification because when things go wrong, it can wreak havoc, health havoc, 
uh, with, with disastrous implications. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. We have lines open for you. We'll get your calls at the bottom of the hour, as we always do on the bright side, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you've got questions or comments about our new truth treatment products, and we have a, a bunch of them out now, new ones anyway, we've got uh, trial sizes on our Omega-6 healing cream and on our retinol gel, we also have a new... 1% retinol gel is, that's out. I have some supplements coming out here pretty soon. A whole bunch of new stuff happening at truthtreatments.com. Check it out. Truthtreatments.com. All the uh, truth treatment products are up as well as a blog, a blog, skincare blog at truthtreatments.com. I also have a uh, health blog at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. You can find longevity products at pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com or brightsideben.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can sign up to join right off the website, or you can call 866-735-2470 if you'd rather talk to a real person, 866-735-2470. Okay, so we're talking about detoxification. You hear this word thrown around a lot. Nobody really talks about what it is, though this mystical, magical thing that happens. It really is kind of magical. But the chemistry of it is real fascinating. And when you understand the chemistry, you'll understand why the detoxification system, the implications of the detoxification system when it comes to cancer. And by that, I mean what happens when the detoxification system doesn't work as well as it should. That's what cancer really is. That's what cancer-causing compounds. You hear about things causing cancer all the time. And lots of things cause cancer. Way more things cause cancer. Uh, well, I don't say that, but a lot of things cause cancer. You can't you can't really be freaked out when they tell you, oh, this particular substance, this chemical, or this molecule causes cancer, because really the detoxification system is fully equipped to detoxify. When when cancer is caused by something, or when you hear about something causing cancer, they mean in a test tube without a detoxification system. The detoxification system, when it's working well, will protect us from these things. This is why some people get cancer and some people don't. Their detoxification system, their ability to clear things out, isn't working as effectively as it should. And because we don't understand detox, we don't really understand the mechanisms of it and what's happening, we don't learn how to leverage it. We just take whatever some well-meaning herbalist or well-meaning chiropractor tells us to take without thinking about what's going on. So that's why it's really important to understand the mechanisms here. Phase one is burning and dissolving, and phase one is largely accomplished by something called P4. It's accomplished by a lot of things, but one of the most important chemicals is called P450. P450, by the way, is involved in making steroids. It's involved in processing steroids. It's involved in making vitamin D. It's got a lot of roles to play in the body. And it's largely located in the liver, but it's important to recognize that all cells have the ability to detox. The body, everything happens in the body because of cells, and all cells can detox. It's not like detoxification is a liver phenomena. It's a cell phenomena. It happens to be that cells in the liver are more specialized for detoxification. They have more genetic resources dedicated to detoxification, but your skin detoxifies. Skin cells, I should say, detoxify. Bone cells detoxify. Brain cells detoxify. All cells can detoxify. But the liver cells are the ones that are specialized for detoxification, and that's why keeping your liver healthy is so important. And this is why fatty liver disease is such a huge problem. When the liver breaks down, and remember, 100 million Americans have fatty liver disease. When the liver breaks down, you don't detoxify. Your cells, your detoxification cells aren't going to work as well, and you're going to be more prone to cancer. You're going to be more prone to shingles. You're going to be more prone to autoimmune disease. You're going to be more prone towards a, a runaway microinflammation. You're going to be more prone towards a lot of things when your liver is messed up. Because the cells of the liver are the uh, largely are the cells that do most or carry the uh, carry the bulk or perform the bulk of detoxification processes. So when your liver is jacked up, so will your likelihood of getting a horrible disease that should be detoxified under ordinary circumstances. Here's another really interesting uh, if tidbit, an interesting phenomena about what happens with phase one detoxification. The phase one prep, 
which is ordinarily supposed to feed the chemical into phase two for its final elimination, this phase one prep can sometimes create temporarily more toxic compounds than if they were not detoxified at all. This is a huge problem. See, the body assumes that phase two is going to progress normally and be able to keep up with what's being produced by phase one. It kind of reminds me of that uh, I Love Lucy episode with the, at the chocolate factory. Phase two is Lucy picking up the, the chocolates off the, off the, tra off the uh, conveyor belt. Phase one is the toxins coming through the conveyor belt. If phase two gets overwhelmed, the toxins, uh, the temporarily toxic material that phase one has, has temporarily made more toxic, are going to accumulate. See, body doesn't know that phase two doesn't match up with phase one. For millions of years, it did. For millions of years, we didn't have all of these substances. Things like drugs and alcohol, prescription drugs from your doctor can upregulate phase one, creating more toxic compounds for phase two. If your phase two is not keeping up with your phase one, that's a big problem. Only in the last few thousand years, and really accelerating the last couple hundred years, have we been bombarding phase two with pre-processed toxins from phase one, which is pounding the, the phase two system. See, phase one can be, uh, cytoc uh, P450 can be induced. The more drugs you're smoking, or drugs you're, you're taking, and the more cigarettes you're smoking, the more alcohol you're drinking, the more you're going to be, or the faster you're going to be doing phase one, the more you're going to get these toxic byproducts for phase two to have to deal with. And this, by the way, this idea that you can induce or pull out or uh, upregulate or turn on P450 accounts for the different reactions people have to drugs. That's why different people need different doses for drugs. That's why if you're on some drugs, already taken drugs, recreational drugs, illegal drugs, as well as legal drugs, you're going to need more, you're going to need a higher dose for your other drugs or for any drugs. That's why people get used to their drugs. They're inducing P450. How effective or how toxic a medication can be is going to be dependent on how, P, how much P450 is, is around. This is why some smokers get cancer and other smokers don't. It has to do with how much they're inducing their P450. It's why some people get high when they smoke a little pot. Some people need a lot of pot. It's why, it's the, more, it's why the more alcohol you drink, the more you can drink because you're inducing these P450 enzymes. Alcohol is partially metabolized by P450 as well as other enzymes. When alcohol is prepped for final detox, that's when we get hangovers. The the the, by, the uh, prepped product, the, the detoxification prepped product after phase one, that's the toxic stuff. Alcohol is not anywhere near as toxic to the body as this other stuff, which is called acetaldehyde. This is why you don't get a hangover right away. That's why it takes a few hours to get a hangover. You're fine for a while. You're drinking the alcohol. It's giving you a buzz. You feel good. You go to sleep. You wake up. You get a hangover because all that alcohol has been processed by phase one. The signs of a hangover are really the body trying to go into overdrive to eliminate that toxin that's been produced by phase one, that acid aldehyde. That's why you feel nauseous. That's why you want to throw up. That's why you have fever. That's why you just feel crappy. It's because of this secondary toxic poison that the body is, it's trying to get rid of the alcohol, but there's a little intermediary step. Bottom line here is if you're, a phase, if you're going to detoxify completely, you got to have both systems, both phase one and phase two going. If phase one is going, but phase two isn't, big problems can arise. And by the way, there's actually substances that can suppress phase one, and they can make your drugs more poisonous or more toxic or have stronger effects. We'll talk about that uh, on our next Bright Side episode. We'll take your calls when we come back from our break. 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. And we'll get your calls here in just a moment. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the bright side, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470 for more info, 866-735-2470. You are listening to The Bright Side. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. You can also uh, 
Check out our blog and videos we have up at criticalhealthnews.com, pharmacistben.com, and also brightsideben.com. And you can purchase Longevity products off the websites as well. And you can click on the Join the Team link to start a Longevity business and join me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Okay. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open, and we'll get your calls here in just a little bit. From the British Journal of Sports Medicine, high levels of workplace exercise are linked to an early death. Hmm. Men with highly physical jobs appear to have a significantly higher risk of early death compared with men who have largely inactive jobs, suggests the study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. Research has suggested that there is evidence of a physical activity paradox with beneficial health outcomes associated with leisure time physical activity, but detrimental health outcomes for people engaging in high-level occupational physical activity. That means if you work for UPS, or you work for FedEx, or you're, you're lugging bricks around, or you're a farmer, or you're doing heavy-duty physical activity, that may not count as the kind of beneficial exercise you get from leisure time exercise, playing sports, or lifting weights, or going to the gym, which is kind of interesting. Probably has something to do with cortisol and stress hormone, although all exercise will um, upregulate stress hormone. If you're under stress when you're doing your exercise, if you're under psychological stress or extreme stress when you're doing your exercise, or if you're not resting, this is really one of the most important aspects to me when it comes to ex understanding how to leverage the power of exercise is understanding how to leverage the power of rest. Exarrest is a much better term, a much more illustrative term to use. Exarrest takes into account the fact that your body responds to exercise during the rest period, your time off. Everything in nature is on, off, on, off, on, off. Nothing stays on. Nothing stays off. If something's alive, it's going to be taking breaks. It's going to go on, off, on, off, on, off. And understanding how to leverage the rest period is critical to understand if you're going to take advantage of exercise. This is especially true about the skin, by the way. And this is where people kind of get messed up when it comes to taking care of their skin by stimulating it. A lot of people don't like to stimulate their skin because they don't understand that it's not just stimulation. It's stimulation and rest. It's true about the brain. You can't just be thinking all the time. You can't be studying all the time. You got to take time off. And something very interesting happens when you study something and then take comp a, a complete break from studying. You don't study. You don't look at it. You don't think about it. The information will actually take shape inside your brain while you're not thinking about it. And two days later, you're going to know more than you ever thought you knew. And somebody's going to ask you a question, and stuff's just going to come out. When I do my talks, I always talk for an hour and a half or two hours. I just pack it with information, knowing full well that there's no way anybody can consciously absorb all that information. But during the time off, the information, if you're listening and paying attention, the information will kind of ferment in your brain. And two or three days later, or a week later, stuff's going to come out of your mouth that you didn't even know you knew. Because during the rest period, information gets assimilated. During the rest period from working out, your muscles adapt. They hypertrophize. They get bigger. Another factor about uh, exercise is you got to be nutriating when you're exercising. If you're not taking advantage of nutritional supplementation and a, a correct diet and foods that help build muscle, build tissue, you're not going to get the benefits of the exercise. There are people who say, I don't have to, I don't have to worry about my supplements or eat right because I exercise all the time. No, that's not true. The more you exercise, the more stress your body's under, the more you need the nutrients if you're going to take advantage of the exercise. It's like detoxification. The more drugs you're taking, the more nutrients you need. The more stress the body's under, if the body's going to be able to adapt and respond to that stress as it should, the more nutrients you need. The more drugs you take, the more nutrition you need. The more you work out, the more nutrition you need. The more stress your brain is under, the more nutrition you need. All right, let's do one more and then we'll get your calls. This is from the journal Nature. How the gut influences neurologic disease. I've been talking about this for years. And, you know, I know sometimes I, I do these phone cons consults and people call me, I don't know, I, I'd say one out of every 10 calls I get or maybe one out of every eight calls I get involves some kind of neurological issue, especially Parkinson's disease and movement disorders. And I'm always telling people, like I say to, on this program all the time, and I tell everybody all the time, no matter what your health challenge is, you backtrack it to the gut. And people, I, I know people are rolling their eyes when they hear me say that. 
Well, that's too bad because if you're rolling your eyes, you're not taking it seriously. You're missing your major power point when it comes to healing, especially when it comes to brain and movement disorders, neurologic disease. Oh, yeah, that includes autism, by the way, and schizophrenia for that matter, and manic depressive disorder. How This is from the journal Nature, how the gut influences neurologic disease. A study this week published in the journal Nature sheds new light on the connection between the gut and the brain, untangling the complex interplay that allows the check this out now, this is important, that allows the byproducts of microorganisms living in the gut to influence the progression of neurodegenerative degenerative disease. That means the stuff the gut bacteria are making leak into the blood and they affect your brain. That means that the gut bacteria, that universe of bacteria that live in the intestine, play a major, if not the, with a capital T, major role in the development of neurological diseases, all of them. And it's so heartbreaking, heartbreaking to me to see somebody who has Parkinson's disease and they're being drugged. There's actually no drugs even for Parkinson's disease. They give you a hormone, which is supposed to duplicate the, the, the tweet hormone in the brain. When you understand how the body works and how disease actually happens, <clears throat> the absolute lunacy, idiocy, pure biochemical stupidity of the pharmacological model of health become profoundly obvious. There are no drugs that can treat Parkinson's disease. There are no drugs that can treat multiple sclerosis. There are no drugs that can treat Alzheimer's disease for good reason. Because pharmacology and neurodegenerative disease don't go together. Pharmacology can do nothing for neurodegenerative diseases. Period. End of story. However, it doesn't matter because there's all kinds of strategies we have at our disposal to deal with neurological diseases, and it starts with the gut. Surprise, surprise. Get on the nightly essence. Get on, uh, start using fiber, grinding up your own fiber. Start using vegetable juices. Make sure you're using digestive enzymes with all your meals. Use apple cider vinegar with all of your meals. Focus on uh, the elimination. First, focus on finding and then eliminate, eliminating problem foods. If you're not sure if there's a digestive connection to your neurologic disease or whatever your health challenge is, skin, skin health challenge or autoimmune health challenge, whatever it is, fast for a couple of days and watch what happens to your symptoms. It may take two or three days of a fast. If you don't want to do a fast, just start charting your flare-ups and linking your flare-ups to specific foods. Do a food diary. Charting your foods and linking uh, your digestive symptoms or your skin symptoms or whatever symptoms you have to specific foods and then eliminate the foods. Become a detective. This is what doctors should be doing. This is what all healthcare professionals who are uh, charged with taking care of patients should be doing. Backtrack to the gut, eliminate problem foods, support gut health, especially by using probiotics and, uh, and fermented foods. All right, 844 is our number. I'm Farm Spen. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I am Farm Suspend, 844 is our number, 844 time to the phones, and let us say good morning to Carl, the Truth Raider. What's up, Carl? How you doing, buddy? Good morning, brother. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking uh, my pepperina to the vet this morning, so she's not too happy about that. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so she's yowling in the background. <laughs> no worries. Anyway, What's going on? <laughs> Three words I wanted to say in case anything should happen to me. Yeah. I love yeah. you. I love you, Ben. I Aww, thank you so much you. for all your help for over the years. I just wanted to make sure to say that. Okay. Thank you. You're <laughs> right. not going. You're not expecting anything, though, right? No. You never hey, know, turn, though. Every turn your radio. You never know. That's You're so smart. That's exactly right. You never know. Can you uh, turn your radio down, though? Because I got an echo, really bad echo. Or is it down? Uh, no. No. Uh, is, is Are you on that weird phone? Yeah, real quick, but can you hear me pretty good, though? I'm pretty it's close. Terrible. Right? It's terrible. It's terrible, and it's annoying. I'm going to have to let okay. you go. So t- what were you going to say? What were you, what were you going to ask? Uh, uh, comment on mannitol, um, uh, uh, xylitol, methyldextrin, and, and others, and sorbitol uh, and others. Uh, I'll take it off the air. Okay, yeah, I'll take you off. Uh, I'll let you go here, and I'll, I'll talk to you off the air. That's terrible echo there, buddy. 
going to have to hang. Thanks, Carl. Appreciate it. Thanks for the kind words, too. Yeah, uh, mannitol and uh, zorbitol and um, xylitol, these OL sugars, those are called sugar alcohols. And uh, they are sweet. They have a certain sweetness to them. Uh, but they're not absorbed very well out of the intestine. This is why they're used sometimes in diabetic, uh, diabetic sweetening products, especially sorbitol um, and also xylitol. Uh, they're not absorbed out of the intestine, so they don't affect your blood sugar. However... Um, the fact that they're not absorbed can cause, can, uh, can cause some digestive problems. It can cause gas and bloating. A lot of people have digestive problems with these so-called polyols. In fact, you may have heard of the FODMAPS diet. Uh, these, uh, these kinds of sugar alcohols are verboten, are forbidden on the FODMAPS diet for people who are doing the FODMAPS diet because they can cause such digestive distress. Uh, so you have to see how you do with the mannitol and the xylitol. Xylitol, by the way, has some really interesting benefits. In, addi in addition to the problems it, pre it presents for the digestive system because it's a sugar alcohol, xylitol has got some really, really interesting health benefits, actually. Um, although not, not everybody can use these polyol, these polyol sugars. But the xylitol is a sugar that actually builds bone and actually prevents cavities. And it's a sweetener. It's just as sweet as sugar. It might even be a little bit sweeter. But... As I say, it's a sugar alcohol, and it can cause gas and bloating and digestive distress as it feeds. It doesn't get absorbed into the intestine. Rather, it stays in the intestine, and it feeds bacteria, sometimes bad bacteria. Okay, thanks for your call, Carl. Appreciate it. Let's go to Cliff in Canada. Good morning, Cliff. How you doing? Not too bad, sir. Yourself? I'm doing good. Yeah. Thanks for calling. I'll like you. Yeah, Carl's right, though. Like, you really helped me a lot in my life, too. You know. I appreciate yeah. that. Now I, I got a lot of information that I couldn't get anywhere else, and it's good information, too, because when I compare other people's information to your inf information, use, use, your information is always the best information. Okay, and good. So Thank and you. it doesn't cost me anything. You know, this is amazing. You know? That's right. It's public yeah. service. You know, I was just talking to my buddy. I was like, I, there's so yeah. much stuff I want to say. I have to do this program, and I have to do my presentations because there's so much stuff that isn't being said. And that's why I yeah. do this. And I, I appreciate you uh, recognizing, that, recognizing that and acknowledging it. Thank you. Yeah, I try to listen to you every day. And whenever I got time before I go to work, I always listen to your show. It's like a priority for me. You know, what, do you, and, what do you do? What kind of work do you do? I'm in security, so I work in evening shift. So I start work around three o'clock. So usually around eleven o'clock, you're on here, and, and okay. that's what I do. And how, how am I? Do it is it on the radio or is it on on the internet? Internet, uh, GCN. Okay, gotcha. Uh, internet, uh, but it's it's really good. I, I started. I found out about you when I used to listen to Alex Jones a lot. Okay, and, gotcha. And, and then also I listen to because I work in evenings. So, like, when I came home, I would listen to Nori, uh, okay. like, uh, Coast to Coast, and you would okay. be on Coast to Coast, too. So, like, uh, I'm all over the place, morning and night. That's good. Yeah. Where, now, where in, where, you're in Ottawa, uh, you're in Ottawa yeah. right? Okay, yeah, gotcha. The of Canada, Ontario, yeah. on the Quebec border. Uh, you know, I, was in Ca I was in Canada last weekend, and it's kind of tragic what's happening in Canada with your, with your free health care system. Are you aware? You're probably aware. It's terrible. Everybody oh, yeah. gets free health care, but, but they have to take the drugs. <laughs> they have to yeah, well, yeah, I could tell you stories about that. Believe me, uh, having been in, uh, like, uh, part of the medical system almost, like, for years and years, I could, I even thought about writing a, documenting all this, because, like, I've been involved in security for years now, and one thing I do is I report and document, you know? So I could uh, document a lot of stuff. It would be very interesting, I'm telling you, uh, like... Were you, now you um, correct me if I'm wrong. Were, were you on? Um, you took yourself off of uh, antipsychotic meds. Was that you? Yeah, olanzapine, like which I've uh, on since the 1990s. Olanzapine specifically, uh, and I'd say now the thing is, is that I'm at 1.850 milligrams a day. And now what I want to do, and I probably I'm just double checking with you. Uh, I read something about like Udo's oil enhancing effects of certain drugs and i take another thing which i take is fenugreek seeds because mm. like i used to smoke years ago and and like I, I i developed a bit of a cough and i don't know if it's related and i take for the for actually for the congestion of bed i take two things like sauerkraut uh from the barrel and i take fenugreek and it works actually it gets rid of the, a lot of phlegm and everything and then, interesting uh, like, how do you do yeah. the fenugreek how do you do the fenugreek uh, now fenugreek in capsules, 500 capsules. milligrams, 
uh, two times, like two pills, uh, two capsules, three times a day. That's an amazing herb, by the way, for a lot of things, for oh, yeah. detoxification, for hormones, for blood sugar. Really yeah. wonderful herb. Yeah, it's fine. Herbal medicine is really quite amazing because yeah. herbs are just weeds, right? They're like yeah. the most abundant thing that grows is weeds, okay. weeds and grasses. And we, we think that we use weed killer for them, and they're some of the best medicine there is, like hey, fenugreek. Man. It's amazing, and, and like so many things hey, that are natural and stuff, and, and believe me, uh, like I, I got a story to tell, and, and like I, it's like it, sometimes I get pretty upset, especially like I can't show it though, like because uh, like uh, especially after reading uh, Peter uh, Bregan's book, and actually I think Peter Bregan or what uh, Bregan actually he's a uh, guest sometimes on Coast to Coast. In, Is he, like, he wrote the the psych, he's a psychiatrist, right? Yeah, and he wrote mm-hmm. Toxic Psychiatry, quite a few books. Uh, medication. Oh, that's him? Toxic, I read Toxic Psychiatry like 20 years ago. I didn't realize that was yeah. Peter Bregan. Yeah, oh, that's well, interesting. That's, uh, yeah, who wrote it, uh, Bregan. And then, uh, and then what happened is, is that like, if you start to read this stuff, you know, like if you go to the doctor's office, right, and then the doctor might try to like bamboozle you, right? But if you go in with the, another doctor's opinion and everything documented, uh, like with, like they the can't book or book they can't bamboozle they can't bamboozle then they then they just say they don't know probably well whatever it's enough they have to honor at least your request yeah. you know like for recognition of your ideas so basically what I did was I went into my doctor's office and basically I wanted him to help me with my withdrawal right so basically what I did was I used uh, I had uh, Bregan's book with me. And I started showing him, like, how Bregan wanted to do the withdrawal. And so, therefore, because sometimes doctors, right, they'll say, like, okay, like, they'll do this really abrupt withdrawal. And then you'll, you'll have a rebound effect. And then after that, uh, they'll say, oh, well, therefore, it's the illness, right? But, but they, they contradict themselves all the time. You know, like, doctors are always contradicting themselves. It's like, but yet they get away with it somehow. It's like... Anyhow, it's because people don't know. It's because pe- yeah. people don't. Pe- yeah, people don't have any way of knowing, so they, they just trust their doctor. Hey, I want to get one more call in, uh, Cliffy. Is that okay? Yeah, you have I have any question? Like, how about like um, with the? Uh, is there any problem with taking Udo's oil with like those two things I mentioned? The olanzapine. No. No, no, okay. Absolutely, absolutely not. In fact, the Udo's Udo's oil will help stabilize the membranes against uh, against destabilization and immune activation. So you, it'll have a calming effect, especially the omega threes, especially in your brain. The omega threes in your brain. Udo's has higher. Udo's has a little more omega threes in it than it does omega sixes. I think it okay. does. I should, you know, I should check that. Don't, uh, don't quote me on that. I got to check that. I don't remember if it does. I, my my memory's telling me that, but I'm, I may be wrong. In any case, uh, yeah, Udo's essential fatty acids, EFAs. Whether you do um, the ultimate EFAs, ultimate EF, EF, EFA plus, Udo's blend, yeah. they're like absolutely a must-have for the immune system and the inflammatory system. They are the molecules of inflammation. Those essential fatty acids. Cliff, that's the music. I, I got to go. Thanks so much for your call. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Bye. Sorry if I left you on hold. Uh, but we'll be back on Monday on our next Bright Side episode. We'll continue talking about phase one and phase two, talk about some nutrients for phase one and phase two. And also we'll talk about why uh, some there are some things that you could eat that will actually down-regulate phase one and make your drugs more potent. And that's also a very interesting phenomenon when it comes to phase one and phase two detoxification. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Please check out our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for all the longevity products and truthtreatments.com for our truth skin health products. Have yourselves a wonderful, beautiful, awesome, spectacular day. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll talk to y'all later. Bye for now.